2005 Sasquatch Hunters is a very typical Bigfoot movie. It has everything you would expect. But let's just get this out of the way right now. This movie relies heavily on CGI. Bad CGI. I mean, just look at this. Wipe out of the tree. Call marks or something. Yeah, maybe the bear taking that crap had to grab onto something. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Are you freaking ready yet? Hold on. The movie opens up with three guys hunting what we assume is Bigfoot. He attacks, but one guy is able to escape. Elsewhere in the park, several rangers are getting ready to take some researchers into the woods to look for fossils of a North American ape. No, I know you're anxious to get there, but just remember, in order to get there, we actually have to get there. <laughs> yeah, no crap. What the hell is this? This is the crew. We meet the crew. There's Charles Landon, the older, more experienced ranger, Dr. Helen Gilbert, who's the leader of the expedition, Roger Gordon, the main tough guy ranger, Dr. Ethan Edwards, the older skeptic doctor, Luis, their top student, and really just there for sex appeal, and then there's Brian, Spencer, and Janet, just other park rangers. All right, everybody, let's try to keep it together. we got a lot of hiking over the next few days. After meeting everyone, the group sets out. Their plan is to hike for four days deep into the woods and set up site where they think the fossils will be. The music is really adventurous and grand but it's literally just them hiking through the woods. The sole survivor from the beginning sees the group, but before he can call for help, Bigfoot slams him into a tree. The group sets up camp and tells the story of how this research mission came to be. Dr. Gilbert and Dr. Edwards both work at a museum. Someone brought in a bone that was found in the area and it matches an old bone brought into the museum back in the 1800s. After a while, everyone decides to call it a night, but just leave the fire roaring. Something a park ranger definitely wouldn't do. The next day they set out, and there's more walking. Now day three, and more walking. The first half of this movie is just people walking through the woods. They set up camp, and the next morning wake up to see exactly what they came there for, an ancient burial ground. We completely missed this coming in the dark. What the hell is this? I found this one too. So what do you think, Doc? Well, it's obviously a burial ground. The doctors start digging up the bones and see that they're much bigger than what they were expecting. All right, these bones aren't human. What? You know, what we have here are exactly the same kind of bones we have back in the museum. Only way bigger. The other samples must have been juveniles. Spencer, I want you to check the perimeter of the clearing. See if you can find anything else we need to be aware of. Okay. 
one of the rangers, Spencer, is asked to walk the perimeter, but he doesn't come back. The next morning, they all go out looking for Spencer. Roger sees something in the woods. Ryan! Spooked by this, Roger demands that they get the heck out of there. So you know what that means. More walking! <laughs> that night, Janet breaks away from the group and finds Spencer dead. Then she's taken out too. The group is now split up, and Helen and Charles are chased by the beast. But there's something interesting here. It's not CGI. It's a guy in a suit. And it looks good. Not great, but a hell of a lot better than the CGI. The rangers stumble upon a cabin in the woods, surrounded by bear traps, where Charles gets his foot stuck. Lou, don't move, we're coming! Don't move! Where are you? Luis is forced to use her camera's flash to see in the woods. Brace yourself, we're about to get the worst special effect yet. Roger is able to find Helen, and they make it back to the cabin, where they finally get a chance to think about what's going on. They have the idea that it's because they disturbed the burial ground that the beasts are hunting them down one by one. Oh my god. We got a picture of it. Yeah, that's it. In the cabin, they find an old map and realize that they're only a few hours away from the road. We're screwed. No, we can do this in a few hours. They think they're safe in the cabin for the night, but suddenly Bigfoot grabs Brian and rips him right out the window. The next day, they set out back to the main road, and a ton of Sasquatches are circling all around them. They make a run for it. Now, once again, we get to see these guys in suits, which looks fake, but so much better than anything else. By some miracle, they make it back to the Jeep, but Helen is carried off. Roger goes after her, but Bigfoot throws Helen at him. She gets up like she wasn't just thrown 30 feet, and they escape, making it back to the Jeep, where everyone lives happily ever after. One thing that I noticed is at the end of the credits, they do the typical, this motion picture is protected under copyright laws stuff to keep people from stealing it. But then they write, have a heart, we're not getting rich off of this. <laughs> well, at least they're being honest. 
So, Sasquatch hunters. Well, for one thing, they didn't say the word Sasquatch at all. Heck, they only said Bigfoot once. The movie tried to make this a serious expedition for a great ape, but they aren't fooling anyone. This was a straight-to-DVD, cheap Bigfoot movie. To give them some credit, I couldn't do anything like this, but that's not saying much. In a sea of crappy Bigfoot movies, this one blends in with all the others. Subpar acting, horrible special effects, even for 2005, it's some of the worst I've ever seen. But the scenery is nice, and the film looks good. The music isn't bad either. In the end, I give Sasquatch Hunters two and a half tree kills out of four. College, babe. Nice.